And we now move on to the HFMA Awards. Uh, as you know, we have we have two awards every year, uh, the Health Journalist of the Year Award and the Morris Hansen uh, Award of Honor. And um, we are first going to move to the Health Journalist of the Year. And we'll know that this industry needs journalism that is fair, that is accurate, that is responsible and uh, informative in order for our, our, our products and our innovations to, to thrive and, and, to, and to survive. So it gives me great pleasure to announce that the winner of the 2020 Journalist of the Year is Peter B. I normally would hear a round of applause. Round of, round of virtual applause. I'm going to read out a little bit about Peter, um, who you, you may already know. She's highly regarded uh, and, uh, and a very experienced journalist who has written about health, beauty, nutrition, and fitness for the national media for over 20 years. She began her career by undertaking a sports science and nutrition degree before moving into a successful career in journalism. And you may have read her work, which has been uh, appearing regularly over this time in, in the Times and the Independent and the Daily Mail, or you may have seen her more recently on the women's lifestyle website, Get the Goss. And in, in addition to that, she's authored six health books, including The Ageless Body, Fast Exercise, and London 2020 Get Book for the Games. Peter is a keen runner and she champions national, uh, natural health and fitness in all of her work, inspiring readers to live healthier and better lives through her educational, informative and engaging content. And so on behalf of our association, I'd like to thank her for her longstanding and passionate commitment to use her voice and her influence to help our nation be healthier, which is of course the, the core value of the HFMA. Peter would love to have joined us here to accept the award, but due to the current situation has instead recorded her acceptance speech, which I'd like to now share with you. Hello everybody, I'd just like to say a big thank you for presenting me with this award. It's a real honour to be named HFMA's Health Journalist of the Year, particularly when I look at the long list of prestigious previous winners, so a big thank you for this. Um, I've been writing about health and fitness for almost three decades and as you can imagine in that time things have changed dramatically in terms of what's available and the research into various products and services. When I started health, uh, personal trainers and, and supplements were a bit of a rarity and now of course we all use them and consumers are so much better informed than they were three decades ago. It makes our job much more interesting and, and the standard of science and research into everything has just developed tremendously. Um, I think this year, more than ever, our job as uh, journalists in terms of deciphering the science for consumers to make informed choices is more important than ever. It's been such a difficult year for everybody and uh, I think my passion has always been to get clear, concise messages across. So I want to thank all of you for providing the means for us to do that. Uh, I'm sorry we can't all be meeting in person, but, uh, but thanks once again for this award. So we hope that the uh, Journalist of the Year Award will be something that Peter will be proud to add to her growing trophy cabinet. And uh, warmest congratulations once again to uh, Journalist of the Year, Peter B. Okay. We now move on to the most exciting part, the, the Morris Hansen Award of Honour. It's my great pleasure to tell you that the winner of the 2012 Morris Hansen Award of Honour is Peter August, everybody. Yay. I'd now like to just tell you a little bit more about, about Peter, um, much of which you, you, you may know, some of which you may not know. Um, Peter began his career in retail in 1982 as a store manager for Curry's. He joined Holden Barrett in 1990 when he was interviewed by Barry Vickers for the role of area sales manager. Peter was then promoted seven times in quick succession to acquisition manager, then property manager, then to marketing manager in 1995. Two years later, he became commercial manager, then commercial director in 1998. Peter became managing director in 2003 and chief executive officer 
became a Tithin Chief Executive Officer of Holland and Barrett International in 2008. A truly meteoric rise, and there are a few track records in the industry to match this. He grew and transformed the business, taking the Holland and Barrett brand internationally and overseeing several major acquisitions, both by NBTY and ultimately acquisitions of NBTY. Peter truly has a deep, deep understanding of this industry. The products, the specialist ingredients, the regulation, the commercial strategy, and of course, retail. Plus an understanding of the international aspects, the organizations, and the movers and the shakers. And he combines all of this knowledge with his own unique drive and commitment and passion. And this all makes for a formidable, no-nonsense force within our industry. And I think there's no one who's done more over the decades to support, to support and promote natural products on and off the high street in such an effective way. Peter has also, of course, been one of the longest serving true champions of the HFMA. He's made enormous contributions to council, serving as chair, and of course, as we heard, as a long serving president. He's one of the health food industry's great characters and best known personalities, representing us in countless ways on TV and in the media. And his commitment to the sector shows no signs of letting up. And after a very well earned rest, we expect to see his return to the industry before very long. So in short, I'd say Peter loves this industry and defends it with a passion. Ladies and gentlemen, I could not imagine a more fitting winner of the 2020 Morris Hansen Award of Honor than Peter Aldis. And normally, of course, at this point, I would ask Peter to come up. Um, and for obvious reasons, uh, I instead have a short film to share with you of Peter accepting this award. I'm going to play this now. Well, those lovely words which are dedicated to uh, Peter Aldis. It gives me great pleasure to present Peter, who's here with me today in his office, uh, with this magnificent silver salver, which we rely on for is practically, practically yes, worth yes. more money than you yes. could ever imagine. And your name is here on the back, as you can see. So with great pleasure, I present you with the HFMA Award of Honor 2020. Thank Peter you. All this. Thoroughly deserved, my friend. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. And in addition to that, We'd like to give you this silver salver, which is a replica, and this is for you to keep. Oh, well, let's keep this one. You're allowed to keep this one. Do not use it as an ashtray because that's inappropriate. And make sure we get this one back, please. Listen, thank you. Thank you very, very much. I'm so sorry I couldn't uh, be with you all today, although that would have been just as digital a feel. But I want to say, first and foremost, how very, very proud I am um, of the fact that this has been chosen by my peers within the industry um, makes me feel, you know, makes, makes, makes the effort over the many years feel absolutely uh, brilliant. Um, it, you know, really does make me feel very, very proud. 30 years in this industry. Um, I joined Holland Bar in September 1990. So I'm literally one month away from being 30 years in the industry, uh, 28 of which were with um, Holland um, Barrett. I was very fortunate because, uh, you know, due to the unfortunate passing of, of Morris Hansen, but uh, for the presidential role to be vacated at that time and was asked to, to take that on. Um, I want to mention uh, Barry Vickers, who's recently passed away. Uh, Barry, you know, wasn't much he didn't teach me about retailing, um, old fashioned man in many ways, uh, but, you know, I learned so much from him and his style and the fact that he's a previous winner of this award, um, fully deserve it for the efforts he made in taking Holland Bar from what was a loss making company in 1990 to an extremely profitable business. And I have one other thing to say, there's a lady by the name of Penny Viner, uh, who's replacing me as president and is more deserving of this presidential role than I am. So, you know, I, she was the executive director when I joined the council um, she was the one that persuaded me and for, well, didn't force me, but persuaded me that I might well be considered as a popular chairman. You know, very proud of my achievements after that. And then Penny went on to be a brilliant vice president, has been totally committed to this industry and this organization. Um, and I think it's amazing that she's going to take on this role 
and I want her to know that I would be more than happy to help in any way I can, at any time I can. It's been an absolute pleasure. Very much uh, thank you once again uh, for this amazing award. Um, I love this industry, I still care, and I'll be here for a while yet. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Well, then again, Peter.